Section 16, Songs of Love and Life by Zora Cross. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Read by Caveat. Sonnet 16. Love, you have brought to me my perfect soul, more sweet than earthly things, more precious rare, hiding its fragrance in my loosened hair, and folding up my body like a scroll. O oh, lie with me all night and let the roll of rapture's waves wash over us, as bare of anything save love we haply share the joys of our first parents' chaste control. My love, my peace of heaven God has spilled upon my outstretched hands, O oh, kiss me yet. Here, lying close to you, I feel I know, my being even now is charged and filled with light and bliss it never shall forget, though eons over my cold corpse shall flow. End of section 16Section 17, Songs of Love and Life by Zora Cross. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Read by Caveat. Sonnet 17. Beloved, lest I should remember, I must swift forget the wonder of last night. Hot memory would but blacken out my sight, and dull my senses till they seem to die. How could I live remembering that sigh, that breath, that sob, that all sublime delight? Eternal joy is death, I think, and might. Not such sweet madness kill me coming nigh? I died with you that hour, or, if not merged myself in you, commingling all my life within your own, until I fled and fled. Into your blood and my pure pulses surged, heaped with the wedded bliss of man and wife. Dying I lived, and living I was dead. End of section 17 Section 18, Songs of Love and Life by Zora Cross. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Read by Caveat. Sonnet 18. O oh, core of me, my love, what is this joy that moves our minds to rapture and our lips to load each other's with such balmy sips? All heaven within our kisses seem to cloy. What is this red, ripe life, this love alloy that fires our bodies and in fervor drips a thrill divine even to our fingertips, rich with the longings that the gods enjoy. I cannot tell, however, much we kiss. I can but love and love you till I seem caught in the floating force that nature weaves, and, lying close to you, I drink that bliss that Psyche knew when, through her rosy dream, she smelt the wings of Cupid part the leaves. End of section 18 Section 19 from Songs of Love and Life by Zora Cross. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Read by Elise D. Sonnet 19. You made of this great world a little bed of blossoms. We too sewed together sweet moon herbs and sun sprays, bordered round complete with grasses of soft shadows, brown and red. Here, lilac love to innocence was wed. There, youth held beauty by the jasmine feet, and truth and purity their tapers beat above each pink and lily pallid head. Ah, love, I plucked a rose today, which now with me awaits your coming to this lee, lying amid the daisies, half in swoon, as if it felt upon its perfumed brow the laughing bliss that you will bring to me when your hot kisses flood me like full noon. End of section 19. Section 20. Songs of Love and Life by Zora Cross. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Read by Caveat. Sonnet 20. Love. Love. It dies. The fragile petals droop, but deep within me dips the dying scent, brimming my mind with love and love's intent, and all my senses to their souls bring troop. Beloved, soft in dream, I idly loop the gracious bud within my hair and pent with passion watch the fiery firmament scatter the crowding stars in chain and group now you are here your body on my own smother me all with heaven this perfect night press closer to my heart i would forget this rose and i must scent another's own i love you so would love were all delight 
to live, to die, like this, till all suns set. End of section 20section 21 songs of love and life by zora cross this librivox recording is in the public domain read by caveat sonnet 21 if there should be a moon above the hill tonight dip down with me into the sea of our first passion and with naked glee breathe its ripe wonder to our being's fill oh as the moonbeams on the violet spill rivers of uncontrolled felicity We'll tune our bodies to a melody, And set our pulses to a poet's thrill. Love, love, your hot lips tremble on my eyes, You droop, you swoon in silence over me. Heaven out of yours, my very eyelids sup, The stars are running out of paradise. I languish, perfumed with expectancy. Beloved, kiss me, for the moon is up. End of section 21 Section 22 of Songs of Love and Life by Zora Cross. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Read by Caveat. Sonnet 22. Seek not, my dearest, ere to separate me from my body, for we twain are one, part of the unseen cycle of the sun, that fires all mind and matter, small and great. Out of this shell of clay I brought you late. You drew my soul, and scarce its life begun when, lo, it woos you swift as levens run, through pulse and body as its chosen mate. And now I know that, while I have been here, I have been yours, body and mind and soul, and meeting as two planets, breathless still. We melt within each other without fear, widening our wisdom till in joint control we link our love to the Almighty's will. End of section 22 Section 23, Songs of Love and Life by Zora Cross. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Read by Caveat. Sonnet 23. Were I a bird upon the greenest tree, caroling cadences of love for you, I trill such songs along the golden dew, that Pan, soft piping on a reed of glee, in cool crest covered by the lilting sea, would leave his pastures to a satyr crew, and, running barefoot all the forest through, marry his longings to the minstrelsy. O oh, love, lean down, no bird sang on like this, through lips untutored to a pipe or lyre, our passions breathe their own wild harmony, and pour out music and a clinging kiss. Sing on, O oh soul, our lyric of desire, for God himself is in the melody. End of section 23 Section 24 from Songs of Love and Life by Zora Cross. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Read by Elise D. Sonnet 24 I'll be whate'er you wish, a bird, a flower, gathering through crystal rivers of the air, moods of the moon and starry spices fair, to shed them over you from hour to hour. I'll be a little slave without a dower, sitting submissive on your palace stair, until you lift me up and bid me wear jewels of ecstasy and share your power. I could not be a woman and refuse aught of your wishings, O oh my soul's delight. I could not love you and desire not this, that on to me your least thought may transfuse all that in you most needs me day and night. In this alone shall I know fullest bliss. End of section 24. Section 25, Songs of Love and Life by Zora Cross. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Read by Caveat. Sonnet 25. I know no miracle so manifest as that you wrought upon me yesterday, filling with love my chalice of pure clay, from fragrant fountains of your own dear breast, Beaten and sad, with aching eyes I pressed, Close unto you, and, as my body lay, Broken with pain and grief, you murmured, Stay, I am the deathless end of all your quest. I lifted up my bowed and weeping head, Burrowing comfort from your arms and eyes, 
I felt your lips long clinging to my own, and knew the best of me was not all dead. I, who had fallen out of paradise, was placed by you upon my rightful throne. End of section 25 Sonnet 26 from Songs of Love and Life by Zora Cross. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Read by Elise D. O oh, my beloved, when today you said, All this must perish, and we too will go, soulless and senseless, to the dust below, I could but smile and fondle your dear head. I could but catch your fingers as they fled over my throbbing breasts and whisper low, Whence came this beast to lure your fingers flow, these burning pulses leaping passion fed? Dearest, you had no answer, but your blood, drawing from mine the primal fires of God, leapt, laughed, and shouted, panting into mine, Love, love is all and sweeps in mighty flood minds, souls, and bodies from the nameless sod exultant to the feet of the divine. End of Sonnet 26 Section 27 from Songs of Love and Life by Zora Cross This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Read by Elise D. Sonnet 27 You call me wife, Ah, sweetest name and dear, mother of honor and true chastity, breathing a lyric odor over me as if a poet drew me to a sphere. You drop its music on my listening ear, you lull my rest with songs from its pure sea, and lilt its measures of divine decree into my body when you hold me near. O oh, love, my love, come nearer to my breast, you are my poet and your kisses press into my soul celestial chords of fire. Come nearer yet. Oh, let your spirit rest gently on mine in holiest caress. We sleep, we dream, dissolved in our desire. End of section 27 Section 28, Songs of Love and Life by Zora Cross this LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Read by Caveat. Sonnet 28 Give me a child, dear heart we have loved long, Draining each other's sweetness to the last, Wild drops of honeyed madness falling fast, Upon our lips in ecstasies of song, More love we cried, more and still more and strong, And fierce the tide of passion fill the vast, Measured space of our desire and cast, us breathless to the realms the white gods throng. My poet, let the tempest rise once more, Until from spirit out of spirit wise, And free we draw our own youth back again, My dimpled chin your eyes, and learn the lore Of everlasting life and all emprise, From the sweet child that comes to us through pain. End of section 28 Section 29, Songs of Love and Life by Zora Cross. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Read by Caveat. Sonnet 29. Dearest, there is no part of us but air, and earth our counterparts, your fragrant eyes touching my own, some essence of the skies, instill therein and all your warm brown hair, smells of the sun's slow passion, fine and fair. I cannot touch your hands, but I surprise Some element of summer and the size Of stars from your red lips I seem to share. O oh, love, 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 dearer than God to me, Earth of the earth are we, and light of light, God-born, God-breathing, all our scented souls. In death shall glow gladdening eternity, So give me love, all love, this perfect night, As round our naked limbs its full fire rolls. End of section 29 Section 30 From Songs of Love and Life by Zora Cross This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Read by Elise D. Sonnet 30 Ah, love, back to realities we rush Over each lidless dream as boys to play. 
Fancies and thoughts may blossom any day, but youth has only once her early flush. Age trammels us, and all her threshers crush passion, delight, and beauty into clay. Time broods upon the bosom of the bay, holding his finger with an ancient hush. So, while we are both young, while my breasts swell tingling to you, and life is mostly fire, warm blood and warmer throb of pulse and kiss, strive not our happy passions to dispel. Love, love, until our bodies both transpire, for growing old, we must forswear such bliss. End of section 30